coverage you can count on continues with all you need to know. Children as young as five years old are now eligible for COVID-19 vaccinations. That's after the Centers for Disease Control made its recommendation for Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine. The vaccine is now available to some 28 million American children. Today through Saturday, the Indiana Department of Health is holding clinics at the Wabash Valley Fairgrounds. They'll be there from noon until 8 o'clock each day. You can be tested for COVID-19 and receive your vaccine or booster doses. All three vaccine brands will be made available. An investigation continues into a stabbing in Terre Haute. Right now, police are not releasing much information, but according to Vigo County dispatchers, officers responded to a call last night near the intersection of 13th and Poplar. Our photojournalist noticed crime scene tape up around the Phillips 66 gas station. Those in the area say there was a fight of some sort. Dispatchers confirmed to News 10 it had something to do with a stabbing. A two time convicted child molester in Terre Haute will spend 10 years in prison. That's for possession of child pornography. The investigation into John Rice Jr. began when the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children sent a cyber tip line report to Terre Haute Police. A new women's recovery program is planned for Bicknell, Indiana. Christ Community Center is now putting the program together on the second floor of its Bicknell location. The program will be able to house 14 women in need. The 14 month program will help those in need recover from drug addiction. Great Dane Trailers of Terre Haute has proposed a $50 million expansion project to the Vigo County Council last night. It would take all nine Great Dane facilities nationwide and bring their fabrication operations here in Vigo County. The $50 million project would bring 125 new jobs with it. The council will meet at the Vigo County Annex next Tuesday for further discussion. The votes are still being tabulated, but this morning, CBS News reports Republican businessman Glenn Youngkin is the likely winner in the closely watched race for Virginia governor. In New Jersey, the governor race between incumbent Democrat Phil Murphy and Republican challenger Jack Chitterelli is too close to call. Continuing coverage on some key elections from yesterday is coming up at 7 Eastern on CBS Mornings. And tonight there will be a planning meeting held for Terre Haute's Veterans Day Parade, which was canceled last year due to the pandemic. This evening's meeting will get underway at 730 at the VFW at 12th and Mulberry Streets. Groups wanting to take part in the parade need to be at this meeting. The parade itself, it's taking place on Veterans Day next Thursday at 10 o'clock in the morning. Good morning. We're in the upper 40s by the end of the afternoon. Mostly sunny skies are here all day long, but it is going to be chilly just like the last couple of afternoons, even though we do have sunlight over the course of the night tonight. We're in the upper 20s again, temperatures below freezing, so we're going to see a possible frost early, early tomorrow morning. Once again, if you have to do anything outside tomorrow, it will be just slightly warmer, but we're still calm when it comes to the wind, just like this afternoon. We're not really going to see that sharp cold breeze as often as you've been seeing it over the last several days. You can see our seven day four forecast. We're rising into the mid 50s by Saturday, lower 60s by Sunday.